Hey you guys and welcome to the channel. Are you ready for some fun? Tune in because we're gonna be talking about things that are just so beautiful from this month. Oh! Number one, numero uno, is this gorgeous, gorgeous, triangular, wall hanging, plant thing, where you can place your pot plants and stuff. I got this for about, for 200 bula, 190 something, I think. Yeah, I think 200 bula, yeah. So from the DIY store in Khaborone River Walk. I mean, how gorgeous is this? I mean, what? So previously I had wanted a much bigger A-shaped, um, uh, what do you call this? Like a, a storage thing. I don't know what you call it. I don't know what it's called. So I didn't find that almost immediately. I've been looking for so long. So I got this. I, I saw this and I got it. Right after getting it, I saw the A-shape, the bigger one. And it was way beyond my budget. And I, I thought, well, maybe I'll get it later on. But I just, I'm so in love with this. I didn't even regret getting this. It's so beautiful. I just, I love it so much. So, there we go. So then I also got these, these cute little things. I mean, if this is an evolution, I don't know what it is. I mean, me getting these things, I have never, I never thought in my life I'll get stuff like this. So if I can evolve into something that's way better, a way better version of myself, you can too. I'm telling you. So this, right? Okay, so these I got for about your 50 pula, 49 pula, 39 pula. So basically between 40 pula and 50 pula, you can get these at Mr. Price Home. These are so gorgeous. I, I definitely intend on increasing the collection and putting on my stand. So excited. So, so cute, right? Oh, so cute. So cute. The next one is this gorgeous hand wash by Woolworths. I mean, look at the color. Look at the packaging darling i chose this because of the color i felt it screams freshness spring love like you can love again i mean wow and i felt it would match my bathroom and also with the pl cute plant next to it it's just it's complete love it love it and it's safe to say that i it's not a home deco haul without anything from Woolworths. i mean i love this shop with all of my heart next is this super cool grater that is just a centerpiece on its own i had wanted to get a grater for the longest time and in my head i had always just thought of the normal grater but alas lo and behold i happened to walk into mr price home and i found this gorgeous baby and i thought you're coming with me you're coming home with me so i like it because it's unique and you walk into the kitchen and already your mood is on a vibe because of this I mean look at this next on the list is this uh chicken samosas pre-packed pre-prepared frozen meal it's something that i never expected would be really really cool and taste amazing it tastes so good that when my sister visited and i gave her some to take to her husband she ate it all on the way home so. and it's a beautiful snack it doesn't even really take long it takes about four minutes to prepare in oil so you are pretty much done within 10 minutes for your guests or for yourself if you're really really hungry second last is this book wow this is a book that i'm still reading but it's so beautiful so far let me just read you a, a passage some people think that calling on god means inviting a force into our lives that will make everything rosy the truth is it means inviting everything into our lives that will force us to grow and growth can be messy the purpose of life is to grow into our perfection once we call on god everything that could anger us is on the way why because the place where we go into anger instead of love is our wall any situation that pushes our buttons is a situation where we don't yet have the capacity to be unconditionally loving it's the holy spirit's job to draw our attention to that and help us move beyond that point our comfort zones are the limited areas in which we find it easy to love i love that it's the holy spirit's job not to respect those comfort zones but to bust them we're not at the mountain top until any zone is comfortable wow 
I don't think I need to say anything more. The last thing on the list is not a physical thing. It's this thing about doing stuff yourself. So today afternoon, I was working on removing my nails, my acrylic nails. And this was my third attempt and I had always been failing desperately previously. But this time around, I decided to research about it and read or watch a YouTube uh, video about it. And I got to find out some information that I didn't know before about how certain glues that they add to your acrylic nails aren't good so there's a way of telling which one is good and which is not and you're gonna tell when you remove the glue and i thought if i hadn't done this myself i wouldn't have known this important piece of information doing stuff yourself you actually get so much more educated it's nice to just have a self-care day um, and let that be a treat more than a chore so that's what i so I, that's what I, that, that's my thing this month now. Yeah. That is all for today's episode of my favorite things this month. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share, um, tell your friends about it. I will see you again in the next video. Bye.